below guys. This is Recaps Now here. Today, I'm going to explain a movie called Cook Up a Storm. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. As the movie begins, we see a Chinese chef called Gao. Gao used to cook very tasty food and dishes. We see that he owns a small restaurant, which he would keep tip-top. Gao was very much passionate and interested in his profession. However, in the past, Gao has suffered something terrible. We learn that his father abandoned him and left him under the care of a chef so that he could learn cooking. Gao had always desired to be a great and famous chef someday. He thought that by becoming a famous chef, he would be able to acquire all those things and achieve his dreams, which he could not do in his childhood. Gao's father was a famous and great chef, and perhaps by this time, he has already achieved the title of a master chef. However, his son Gao disliked his father very much for what he had done to Gao, as Gao had to spend his childhood without the shelter of a father. Gao missed his father dearly, but his father was unaware of it and never felt the same way for Gao. Meanwhile, we see that Gao's father was content with the fact that people did not know that he even had a son. This fact used to break Gao and haunt him even more. The scene ships and we see a young, handsome and talented chef appears on the scene. This handsome chef used to cook for the rich and royal families of the society. The chef is named Paul and he dreams of building a restaurant in his home country just for the sake of his father. To fulfill his dream, we see Paul returns to his country and rejects all foreign offers in the process. He also foregoes the facilities and the luxury available to him. Next, we see that Paul visits a fish market and asks the dealer to show him a large fish. But here the dealer refuses to do so. However, when Gao comes to the same market to buy fish, the seller sells the fish to Gao. Paul is angered after seeing this and he glares at Gao with disgust. This is because Paul felt jealous of Gao and as to why the seller sold the fish to Gao instead of selling it to him. The seller observes that both the men were angry so he divides the fish into two parts. The seller did this so that a fight does not start between the two men and a conflict may be avoided. However, both Paul and Gao keep on staring at each other in anger. Next, we see a magnificent restaurant of Paul. We learn that the restaurant's inauguration is today and it is extremely neat and clean apart from being stylish. We see that the restaurant is decorated perfectly. We also see that both the restaurants owned by Paul and Gao respectively were situated face to face. When Gao's friends see this, they feel worried, as Paul's restaurant would attract more customers and take away the customers from Gao. And we see that this is what happens, as all the customers are seen preferring the new restaurant and go to the restaurant to check out new and innovative items. Here we see Gao's friends give a discount offer on the food items to support and encourage Gao and to attract customers. This tactic works and people again start coming to Gao's restaurant. Now some of Paul's friends arrive at the scene and they argue with Gao's friends that what is the issue and why you cannot stand our success. In the end, both the parties reach a common ground and it is decided that a cooking competition will be held to ascertain whose food tastes better. Now we see that both Paul and Gao are forced to participate in the competition. At first, none of them would agree, but when they look at each other and identify each other that they met in the fish market, they agree. Then they get ready for the competition. We see that a table has been set in front of them, and a big fish is also placed on it. Both Paul and Gao were to cut the fish. At first, Paul cuts the fish. He then starts to extract the bones out of the fish as if it was child's play. Paul's technique is liked by all present. Now, he throws the fish toward Gao. We see that Gao also cuts the fish like a pro, then shows the crowd the skin of the fish, and it did not have a single trace of flesh. As a result, everyone appreciates and compliments Gao, meaning that both the chefs were on par with each other. One of the onlookers turns out to be a chairman of a company. He informs them about an international chef challenge competition. He asks them to take part in the competition. Both of them wanted to prove a point as to who was the best, so they start preparing for the competition. On social media, Paul says that he had the experience of cooking in France. 
He further says that after coming to China, he realized that the people were still using conventional and traditional cooking methods. It can be easily made out that he was referring to Gao in his speech. This angers Gao a lot. Here everyone comes to know that they face up to each other in the competition. And if they win then only will they be able to reach the finale. Besides this, both of them will get the chance to meet a master chef. We see that the master chef was none other than the father of Gao. Here we see that one of Paul's friends visits the restaurant of Gao and invites him and his friend to Paul's restaurant. She tells him that they could all dine in the restaurant. After this, Gao and his friends visit the restaurant of Paul. However, food is served to them by the same friend of Paul and not by Paul himself. The food seemed like a fried egg and some kind of plant, but it had a unique test to it. Gao thinks that there was something different in Paul's style of cooking. After this, Gao hurriedly enters the kitchen and shouts out for Paul. Gao questions him as to what he wanted to prove by offering him a tasty meal. Gao further questions if Paul wanted to prove himself as the master chef. Paul, however, remains calm and silent and asks Gao to cook the meat. Paul challenges Gao as to who can cook the meat faster and in a more tasty manner. Gao accepts the challenge. We then see that Gao cooks the meat with great skill and it looks great and tasty. Now Paul tells him that he would show Gao how to cook the dish using the same technique. Paul starts to cook the same dish and ends up finishing it in a blink of an eye and within a record time. When Gao smells the dish made by Paul, he does not find any difference. Here Gao realizes that Paul's method was very modern. Gao feels upset and leaves the place. At that moment, someone informs Gao that his father was calling him. We see Gao meets his father and asks him why he abandoned Gao. He also asks him why he had called now and complains about the fact that he still did not accept Gao as his son. His father, who was the master chef, informs Gao that he did what he did so that nobody would address Gao as his son and so that Gao could reach the international chef challenge and participate in it. Gao's father also tells him that he wanted Gao to succeed on his own. An angry Gao says that he did not need his father's help. He says to his father how he was not with him when Gao needed him the most. He says that now I will prove it anyhow that I can achieve the thing for which you abandoned me. After this, Gao leaves the place as he did not trust his father one bit. The next day, the competition is held. We see everything was ready including the participants Gao and Paul. As the timer starts, Paul is asked to make a dessert and Gao cooks a chicken dish. Both the men work extremely hard to make the dish. Paul finishes making the dish well before the stipulated time. Later, we see Gao also making a delicious dish. He had also finished the task within the given time. Both the judges and the audience are impressed by the performance of the two main participants. When both the dishes are tasted, Paul and Gao both end up scoring the same points as the judges were not able to differentiate between the two items and its taste, as both the dishes were extremely tasty. After this, one of the judges comes to the stage and says though both the dishes were excellent, I prefer Paul's time management skills, thus, he is the winner. We see that Paul is ecstatic about the win. Gao feels devastated by the loss and does not return to his house. Rather, he goes to the game's parlor and plays video games. He keeps himself occupied like this for many days. One day the chef who had cared for Gao since his childhood comes to meet him. He beautifully explains to Gao that victory and defeat were a part of life. He says to Gao that as you lost today does not mean that you cannot win tomorrow. However, Gao was still not ready to return home. But after great explanations and persuasion he agrees. The man tells Gao that he should return home and prepare for the next competition. Next. We see an excited Paul returns to his restaurant. He has a good time with his friends. His friends advise Paul to allow his friend and tell him to trust her. They suggest to Paul that he allows his friend to take part in the global competition as his representative and enhance the brand value of the restaurant. Here Paul says, though she is a good friend of mine, she cannot cook. He asks the men, how can she represent me at the global event? Then we see his friend starts to talk even more and it seems as if she is being greedy. After this, Paul's female friend arrives and places two cups of soup in front of him. 
She questions Paul if he could tell which of the soups had an excess of salt. Here we see Paul becomes mum as he had a problem with taste. His sense of taste just did not work. Paul feels sad due to this. His friend asks Paul what happened. Did you feel I like you? She says that nowadays that does not happen. Here she says that I only became friends with you so that I could take part in the international competition. She says that I agree it was not easy for me to participate in the contest. But how have you repaid me for keeping your secret for so long? Can I just give me an offer? She says now, I will not be quiet and I will also participate in the competition. It revealed to us that the old lady who was Paul's friend had joined forces with his other female friend to betray him. We see that both the ladies were a team now, and they were fooling around with Paul. The girls planned to sell Paul's restaurant and would start afresh with the proceeds from it. But Paul could not let such a thing transpire. He feels betrayed and dejected. Paul comes out of the restaurant in sadness and begins to drink sitting outside the restaurant. Here Gao sees him. He asks Paul why he was sitting outside in a devastated manner. He tells Paul that you have won. You should be happy. Here Paul says to Gao, yes, I have won, but have lost several things along the way. Paul asks Gao to leave it and offers to tell him a secret. Paul shows Gao a poster and asks him, do you see it? The poster was of Gao's father. Paul says he is my ideal. I want to be like him. Gao smiles hearing this and says, Paul, he is my father. You think he is kind-hearted and a gentleman. Let me tell you, he is not at all kind. Then Gao tells Paul what his father had done to him. At first, Paul does not believe Gao and says he must be joking. Then Gao tells him how his father had abandoned him in his childhood, as Gao was an obstacle to his father's career. Gao says, I have spent my entire childhood without him. Paul consoles Gao and tells him to not be sad. Then Gao has the idea of throwing bottles. After this, they both start throwing bottles at the picture. Both the men feel relaxed and excited and become friends. When Paul returns to his restaurant, he observes that his friends were having a deal to sell the restaurant. Here Paul questions them about what was happening and how they could make a deal without his consent. His friends question him as to who would be his partner in the cooking competition. As the second round was a team event and one cannot cook alone, they ask him if he would take his female friend. To this, Paul replies, I'm not mad that I will take her. He further says that I have planned whom I will take. He says I will take the most deserving one and announces that Gao would be his partner. When they hear this, his friends feel jealous. One of his friends warns Paul that his career would be over. Here an angry Paul hits his friend on the head and drives them away. After everyone leaves, Gao's guardian asks Paul if he was sure that he would take Gao along with him. Paul says, why not? Then he touches and puts his hands around his shoulder of Gao. Paul says that yes, he is the most deserving to be my partner. Everyone seems excited. All the preparation for the competition begins. Here it is decided between the two friends that Paul would teach him the new technique of cooking, and Gao will teach him the conventional or traditional method. Here we see Gao encourages Paul and tells him not to worry about him not having a sense of taste. Gao says that he would help cure Paul's assailment. Gao continues to instruct Paul. Paul also does the same with Gao, and we see that they have a good time. They regularly practice cooking while singing and dancing. We see that they have now developed a great friendship. Soon the day of the 2 and D round of the competition arrives. Here they cook perfectly and quickly prepare a dessert, and they win. After this, the 3 RD round begins, and this time they are up against the master chef. Here we see Paul saying to Gao, I think you can win the competition. He further says to Gao that you may go. Here Gao also compliments Paul and says, you are a perfect chef. Gao acknowledges the fact that Paul knew the modern cooking method and that he was a better cook. Paul then tells Gao that he had fulfilled his father's dream by building a restaurant. Paul encourages Gao to fulfill his father's dream as he always wanted him to be a top chef. Paul tells Gao to cook in front of his father and prove that Gao can also be a great chef. Gao agrees to this. We see the three RD round, we see the master chef cooks his dish. On the other hand, Gao also starts to cook his dish. Before this, 
we see a flashback occur in the mind of Gao. Here we see that Gao is abandoned by his father and threatened by other children. Gao gets lost in his thoughts. Just then, his father comes and throws water on his face. He tells Gao to start his cooking. Gao somehow manages to start cooking something. On the other hand, Gao's father prepares a masterful dessert. It is presented in a way that shows fire is producing flowers. The flower test is amazing, and the judges love and appreciate it. Next, it is the turn of Gao. He goes toward his father, with his dish in a bowl he had made noodles. The master chef tastes the noodles and is blown away by the taste. These were the same noodles for which his father scolded him in the past. And today Gao had made a perfect recipe for noodles. It was so tasty that his father could not control himself from eating it. And we see that he starts to eat the noodles desperately and frantically. Then he stops for a bit and says, well done my son to Gao. You have cooked noodles with perfection. He is very emotional at this moment. Here the audience also understands that Master Chef and Gao were father and son as their surname and behavior were the same. Gao had finally realized his father's dream. On the other hand, we see that Paul and Gao work together at the restaurant. Now, they have a large number of customers also. The customers love the food of the restaurant, and there is always a joyous atmosphere in the restaurant. Thus, the movie ends. Thank you for watching.